Guys and gals, Mike Trenchy, one one three. I uh, wanted to talk about uh, C four FM on ten meter. Uh, if you got some buddies nearby that also have YC radios, uh, especially the nine ninety one Alpha, you guys in a general or above class, you could use C four FM on ten meter. Now, there's a Facebook group that happened that started maybe like three or four years ago. I noticed it during uh, COVID. And they like to use the frequency 29250. So let's plug that in now. You go to your uh, band button, you hit your enter button, and you type in the frequency you desire. So 29250, even. That's the triple zero there, and hit enter. Now, mind you, I'm in USB mode right now. So you want to hit your mode button. Then you just want to hit your C4 FM button. So we're doing that now. Now, on this, uh, looks like I shifted a bit. Lock that. Well, this group here on Facebook on 29250, I don't know, there's a few hundred or a thousand guys on there. So you can use the GM function, which is right here. And what this will do is it will throw out your call sign if you set your radio up properly. <laughs> and uh, it, your call sign, if anybody's in earshot, whether it be skip or local, it will appear on their screen, and then it'll appear on my screen as well. Actually, I'm going to hit that button now. As long as you have your TX and your RX uh, IDs at zero, you can talk to anybody. If you have those set to certain numbers, then you're in a private group. Check your manual for those uh, instructions. I have no idea. I usually leave it wide open because I like talking to everybody. So if I'm beaconing right now. You want to make sure your squelch level, mine is usually open at four, so I set it to five or higher. Uh, you have to adjust your squelch for your noise floor. But make sure your squelch level is on, just like you would use FM. And uh, once you hit that GM function, it starts beaconing. I, I call it beaconing your call sign out there. Now, at this point, you can still pick up the PTT button and call CQ if you wish. But the whole point of me talking about C4 FM and 10 meter uh, on 10 meter tonight is because I just met a, a fellow ham. I'd say he's an old man, but he's a young young man, but he's an old man. And he also has a FT991 Alpha. And we're probably like, I don't know, 15 miles apart or so, uh, give or take. So, which is really cool because now I have somebody local I could talk to on 10 meter C4 FM. And we both sh share the same radio so we can compare and contrast. Now you can notice right here, uh, right here it says digital narrow. Uh, when you're doing the beaconing function, you want to use digital narrow. Uh, for some reason, it just works better. But when you're talking QSOs and you're just hanging out and talking to your buddies, if you do voice wide, that will be a little bit wider, about 10 or 12 kilohertz wide. I think the digital narrow is about 8 kilohertz wide. Also refer to your manual. Uh, so <clears throat> I find the audio a little bit more discernible on voice wide or VW and the digital portion on C4FM. The digital narrow I find a little harder to understand. It's more robotic. Uh, if you do DMR or D star or all well, all star is a little clearer, but if you do DMR and things like that, or maybe you use C4 FM on local repeaters, you understand what I'm talking about. So anyway, I just wanted to mention that. Don't forget C4 FM on 10 meter, 29250. Like I said, as a group, you can beacon when the uh, muff is high, and I'm sure you'll find a contact. You can check my other video. I made a contact just recently with a gentleman, 1500 miles away. So it's really fun. You could also use C4 FM on 6 meter and 2 meter and 70 centimeter. So that's what we got going on right now. You don't go on the uh, low bands, nothing below 10 meter. But for right now, that's what we have. So this is Mike Cricket 113, C4 FM on 10 meter. Don't forget about it. Take care.